I don't usually go out this late at night To the place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a reptile room tour. There has been so many updates to my room. I got two melamine enclosures. I got the new Crested Gecko enclosure and also this tank right here is new as well. So I can't wait to show you guys what I've done. Oh. All right guys. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Stay. Eric got a new pet right here. What's his name, Eric? His name's El Paso. He's easy to maintain and take care of. That's why I got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only animal you can take care of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so welcome to my reptile room here. I'm gonna try to make this video as fast as possible because knowing me, I'll take forever talking about all my animals. So let's make this video short and I'll make sure to show you all of my animals. So let's go ahead and get started here with my one of my new additions. This is a Baja California color lizard. So these are like Zeus, but he's gonna be a black and white color. So I can't wait for him to grow up because right now you're not gonna see his final form <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how the adults look right now and these guys are crazy mean when they're older so what I'm trying to do is now is just handle them as much as possible just so he can get it used to me I'm gonna try to take him out but he loves to jump so there he is guys see he's already trying to jump all over the place but when he's bigger he's gonna be a huge guy these are a lot bigger than the aqua flames that i have so i just want to make sure that he's tame that he likes me because i don't want to get bitten by these constantly when he's older so the moment you all been waiting for the name for my new copy lizard is going to be hades the brother of zeus and also he's going to be a darkish black and white color when he's older so i feel like that, that name fits him perfectly so the winner that commented that name is brock mason Thank you so much for that suggestion, Brock. So now you named my new color vision, so that's gonna be awesome. Okay guys, so next up is gonna be my scorpion tilt gecko. So where is he at? Okay, he's up there. Um, this enclosure is a custom build that I did. So I really like how this enclosure came out because he has multi-levels. I wanna be very gentle with this guy because I don't want him to lose his tail. See that awesome tail that he has, that scorpion tail? That's how he gets his name because he curls that tail when he's feeling defensive or when he's trying to breed or anything like that. So he will curl this tail up and just wave it back and forth like a scorpion. So this is my male here. This is about full size grown already. He's probably gonna get a little bit bigger. So these males have these red stripes on the side right there, orange red stripes. So I really like this coloration of these guys. And also like guys, look at that face. I feel like that looks like a bird, fish. I don't know, like so many different combinations of animals. What do you think, Eric? That's like a bird. Look a at bird, that beak. Right? You guys can see it from here. Yeah, it's angle. like a bird and a lizard combined and a scorpion combined. So this is a neat little animal that I love here. So this is my little pet bird here, guys. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's name is Apollo. He's an awesome little guy. He's really tame because these lizards are extremely fast. So to have him this tame is awesome. So these are amazing pets if they're tame. So once they're tamed, they just sit on the log and just are always out and basking and just let you look at them they don't get scared by me so like when i come up to the enclosure he comes up to the tank and just looks at me with his little bird head and with those big eyes just staring me down asking for food so he's a really cute little guy so i love this awesome guy my little scorpion tailed gecko such an underrated gecko maybe because they're rare so many people in the reptile hobby don't have them so don't worry guys i'm here to teach you guys about these awesome geckos Okay, so we covered the top rack with my scorpion tail gecko and then my Baja California Cotter Lizard. Down here, the second rack is going to be my dart frogs. So this first one are my Robertas. There is a total of three Robertas in here. They are a tinctorious species, so they're kind of larger than the usual dart frogs. So there's also one up there. See it up there? I also um, did this enclosure. I just, I just added some more plants in here as well, just so they can have more hiding spots. So right now they have that hide right there. This is also a hide in here in this rock and there's also a moss hide back there so they all have three hides for three frogs so there's one coming up right there and then the other one is coming up from the back corner over there okay so right here i believe it's the male so that one's name is gusher the one up there i think i need to take a look at his head oh okay that one's gonna be the new one so i'm gonna name him gummy 
because that one's Gusher, that's Gummy. <laughs> and then the other one back there is Smiley, the one, the big one back there because his head has like a little smiley face. So <laughs> those are the names that I have for my reverses here. There's Gummy right there, see him guys? Awesome female right there. Females get a lot bigger than the males, so I love how big these dark frogs are. He's about to jump. Let me close. Let me close this. He's oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I can tell he was about to jump. So the Robertos are quite new for dark frogs. Let me try to close it again here because they're gonna jump out. They, they have been. They're new. The Robertos are new, so I'm glad I can have um, a little trio here so that I can start showing you guys more about these Robertos dark frogs. Okay, so next up, what was supposed to go here? I have some bad news, guys. Unfortunately, my blue jean dart frog passed away. It sucks, you know, it, just, it happened a week ago and I've just been like sad about it and um, I feel like the reason why is because she was wild caught and then when I brought her in, I didn't catch her a lot, I got her imported um, at the super show, but when I brought her home, I put her in a temporary enclosure with artificial plants and they hide in there with moss and everything, the leaf litter, so I thought that would be sufficient enough for her. but. She stopped eating. Um, I feel like that wasn't enough because she used to the live plants in the wild and I feel like she just didn't adjust to that. But I was also gonna build her this enclosure that I just finished. She was in here but she didn't last that long. So I put her in this enclosure and that probably even stressed her out more because she previously wasn't already eating. So I thought that I would put it, I thought that I, when I put her in here, uh, she would begin to eat again but she, I just noticed her like standing or sitting right here and then um, at night time I just found her. So it sucks guys, I don't know what to say. I wasn't even planning on telling you guys because it's just really hard for me. Uh, but I feel like you guys need to know. But that's what it is when keeping reptiles. I have right now 20 pets. So eventually one of them's gonna die. That's how it works when you have so many pets. Um, there's a percentage that at least one of them is gonna die within these years. I've been keeping reptiles for over six years, so it just had to happen. It sucks that it was a, re a new animal that I had, um, but you know, I learned from my mistakes. I just know now to, with dark frogs especially, to have them in live barriums as soon as I bring them home. So it just sucks. I learn, everybody makes mistakes, but I mean, that's the reason I think is because of the live plants. That's why she didn't eat, but it may have been something else. Maybe she got sick or something. I'm just assuming that's the reason why is because she wasn't in a live herbarium. But yeah, now I have this empty tank, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so yeah, that, that tank's going to be empty for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get another dark frog. I think I'm done with dark frogs. I'm going to stick to the bigger species of dark frogs and stay away from the smaller ones. So. Here is another dark frog. This is my another Tinctorius. This is an Azorius, another big species of dark frog. This is blue in here. Um, where is he? He's up there in the very back. Can you see, Merc? Let me put down these pothos. See him right there? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so he's chilling back there. He's by himself in this enclosure. His name is Blueberry because he's like a little fat blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that little guy. Probably gonna get him a little friend in there for him. Um, but staying away from those smaller dark flies because I just feel like not that I can't take care of them but I just feel like they're harder to take care of and I don't want to lose another animal, you know what I mean? But yeah, so these are the dark flies that I have for now. Okay guys, so that covers these two racks up here. So down here are my leopard geckos. I have a total of eight of them and they're currently in this 10 gallon half tank. I do plan on upgrading their enclosure soon so stay tuned for that. We'll get to the leopard geckos right now. But let's move on to this shelf over here. So these are my two melamine enclosures that I just finished building like last week. Um, what do you want to start with? Colors? Yeah. Down here? All right guys, so we just caught them right on time. Everybody's basking right now. So right there is Athena. The second one, I finally decided her name is gonna be Ares. Is that how you pronounce it? H-E-R-A-S, Ares? <laughs> and then Zeus. So Zeus and his two girlfriends. Oh, you missed it. She was yawning. <laughs> the one up there, you missed it. Um, do it again, do it again. All right. So this is Zeus right here. So Zeus is an awesome little guy. Let me take him out. All right, so Zeus is the only one that would let me pick him up. Look how tame he is, little fat guy. <laughs> so he is right here. The other females are so just blue crazy right in this. No, not really, dude. He was blue like yesterday. Because right now he's kind of cold. If you feel him, 
Watch, touch him. See, notice that he's not that warm. He's not. He's cold right he's now. I feel cold. like it just got out because he hides right there and he was coming out of his hide. So once he gets over there and starts basking, he turns really blue, dude. Like in my previous video on the thumbnail, he came out so nice because I just had to take a picture of that because of how blue he was. But yeah, he's still a really nice color right now, guys, with that bright yellow head, these black collars. That's why they call him a collar lizard because look at these collars here. But he's kind of getting those neck rolled because he's getting a little bit chunky, <laughs> so those collars are going to go away. But yeah, Zeus is super tame, guys. Look at this guy. He just loves me too. Like, he used to not be tame. Remember that? Well, before he, he didn't used to really, jump on me. He didn't. He didn't bite. He just jumped. Yeah, like, a lot. And Zeus is like really fast, so he's not that fast. Like usually, collar lizards are extremely fast, but since Zeus is kind of like overweight, <laughs> um, he's like really slow. Like he. I don't like, want to diet. He's like a tortoise. <laughs> no, I do. I haven't. I haven't been feeding that often. But yeah, Zeus is awesome. I love this guy. Zeus. Can I get back, back in? in? All right, let's put you back in, Zeus. With your girlfriends. I know you're excited to see your new girlfriends. Go over there with your girlfriends. He has two wives. All right, guys. So yeah, this is the new enclosure here. This is a 48 by 24 by 24, I believe. I think those are the dimensions for this enclosure. Um, but yeah, I love how big this enclosure is just for them to run around over there. That one back there, the one that's Aries, is a really yellow color. But right now, she's going through shed right now. But if I wet her, you'll notice the really bright yellow colors on her back. So. Imagine that breeding with Zeus. Imagine those colors, man. That's gonna be so be awesome. Crazy. I can't wait for that. So this is my little trio here. Lisa, I do plan on breeding them. So uh, it's not breeding season anymore. So once it is next year, I just can't wait for those babies. Three hours later. Okay, I'm not gonna try to scare them, but see the shed right there on the sand. And look how yellow she is. Because now you can see the actual colors of her. Look at that, what a beautiful female collar lizard. So that's what I was saying. Imagine her. No, oh, there goes the heat. Now you can't see the colors anymore. But imagine her breeding with Zeus. That's going to be such a nice baby. Same with this one too. This one's still nice. But who knows? Even the colors, like we never know which babies will turn out more nice. But I can't wait for that. But yeah, guys, I just love sitting here and just looking at them. Just watching them interact with each other. It's just really awesome. I just... Guys, I love reptiles, if you guys haven't already known. <laughs> Alright, next up here is my cherry head tortoise, Rudolph. He's so much bigger. So, Rudolph is loving his new enclosure up here. Um, this, this, this enclosure is so much bigger for him. I do plan on at mixing this repti bark with, with uh, Eco Earth. So, that's going to be mixed with Eco Earth. Over here, it's going to be full with um, leaf litter. And then, what else do I want to do? Oh, I want to add another hide to that corner over here. So this hide over here is I want to have a little corner hide right here so you can have a hot hide. So that basking bulb is connected to a thermostat so that regulates the temperature that I want in here for him. So right now it's a little bit probably uh, too hot for him in there. So that's what the light's off. You know, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like a perfect temperature. They like it's it that hot. They like it like 88, 90 degrees around there. So hey, they like those hotter temperatures. You guys red nose. Red head. <laughs> red head. <laughs> yeah. Red head and those red arms. You can't really tell on the camera, dude. The camera doesn't do his justice. Right, Rudolph is getting huge, guys. Look at this. He's growing so he fast. Look from, at my. From when we got him? Yeah, look at this. He's like bigger than my hand now. <laughs> He's growing Jeez. so fast. So that's why I decided to upgrade him into this enclosure because he's growing so fast. And also, I might get nice. him a little buddy here, guys. I have no idea if he's a he or she. He's still a baby. Little buddy, Ooh. little friend, an upcoming reptile show. So, like, this is a enclosure that's huge for him. Like, look at that. He doesn't even. He doesn't even know what to do. He has so much space. Takes him like a day to travel so, over there. So much room for so many activities. Quote. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these tortoises love it humid. So I have a lot of sphagnum moss in his hide right there, which keeps it very damp in there for him. So he loves just to bury himself in that sphagnum moss. And also, he's probably looking for food right now. So I'm going to feed him right there. And also that water bowl's over there. So I always make sure that's clean and filled up. But yeah, super happy with this two upgrade. I also love the color black on here. It also matches with the Exoterra tanks, but they're all black. So really love these so nice. soldiers. So right here is my Crested Gecko Spider-Man. So we're probably not going to be able to see him, but I just want to show you his new enclosure here. It's a 20 gallon long. I also added this piece of glass here that it can uh, hold the soil, the sphagnum moss, and leaf litter. He also has a hide there with a lot of branches and leaves and artificial plants climbing over there. So. He is right about there. See him right there, Eric? He's climbing. Right. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but he's right there. No, I don't think Not the camera really. can pick it up, but 
I don't really, oh, I can, I can do this, watch. Can you guys see him poking his head out right there? Trying to say hi? So yeah, Spider-Man is evil. Like, he does not really like being handled. You guys may know if you guys watched my previous videos, I can never really handle him because I grab him and he just jumps all over the place and he doesn't have a destination where he's gonna jump. Like, for example, I can have him right here. He won't jump right here. He will jump to the floor. Like, he just jumps all over the place. So I don't like him to get hurt, so I'd just rather just leave him in here, let him do his own thing, feed him, and look at him instead of handling him. So I just kind of gave up. <laughs> but. I still love Spider-Man, he's an awesome little guy. Okay, then down here are the OGs, my leopard geckos from the very beginning. So let's go ahead and take them out real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this video quick with showing you all my leopard geckos because I have eight of them. So I'm gonna do this real fast. Right here is Banana, my shrimp albino right there. She is a female. So there she is, awesome coloration. I love those colors on her back. So really healthy in that humid height sleeping. So go back to sleep, Banana. Oh, oh, well, there you are. I'm sorry to wake you up. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. All right, next up is SpongeBob, my super hypo tangerine baldy carry tail. My first ever reptile right here, guys. He is currently going through a shed right now, so that's why he's this color. Um, but yeah, he's, just, he's an awesome male here that I have. He's huge. And like I said, guys, I do plan on upgrading their enclosure, so they're going to have a lot bigger enclosure and space to walk around and stuff. So can't wait for that, guys. Going to be upgrading all eight leopard gecko enclosures. But yeah, when he's not going through a shed though, he's really bright orange colors. So I love SpongeBob's colors. Okay, next up is Skittles. She's probably gonna bite right now because that's her defense uh, right there, meaning she's gonna bite. So Skittles is also like probably one of my subscribers' favorites right here just because they love the coloration on this leopard gecko. See, she's already trying to bite the, the screen on here or the lid. So look at those colorations on her back. See that? I love those colors right there. Put her towards the light, you can see a little bit better. I love this leopard gecko. Crazy. But for sure, Zeus is like my channel mascot. Everybody loves Zeus. Everybody's favorite. Okay, looks like everybody's sleeping right now because it's daytime. But right here is winter. So winter, um, when I was cleaning winter's enclosure and Eminem's enclosure, M&M's gave her a gnarly bite on her tail right there. That's why you see that little bite mark right there, but it is healing um, Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it's healing good. It was worse than that. It was like a more reddish color But looks like she's healing really well um, So that's a Murphy's pattern list right there uh, now. I know not to put my leopard geckos together when I'm cleaning their enclosures because They just can get grumpy and bite each other Next up is my Super Snow. This is also a female here. This one is having, well, I always mention this because I don't want you guys to think that I take bad care of my animals, but she was a rescue, so she has some back deformation. Um, so you guys can see right there, kind of, not really. But she's really good on weight though. But you can tell her spine is not really aligned. It's kind of crooked right there. But she still eats really well. She does everything else normally, so. I haven't seen any, uh, anything else slowing her down, but she's doing really well. Oh, and by the way, this one's name is Space because of all those dots everywhere. Stars. <laughs> all those stars, yeah. Next up is M&M's. M&M's, why did you bite Winter, huh? Why are you biting Winter for? You evil little guy. So M&M's right here. M&M because look at all those M&M's on his back <laughs> and his tail. So M&M's kind of looks like Skittles, but Skittles has that bolt stripe on its back. All right, here is Houdini. Thank you for coming out. Oh, no, you're not gonna come out. <laughs> Give it a second. Give it a second. <laughs> Houdini, over here. Houdini is the master of escape, guys. If you guys didn't already know, she wins all the maze videos. And I do plan on making a new maze video for Halloween. So hopefully, Houdini will win again. Okay, last but not least is Marshmallow. Marshmallow is probably my favorite leopard gecko. <laughs> Look at those colors on that. I love Marshmallow. There's Marshmallow. so many colors. I know. Look at these colors, guys. Want to see her disappear? Ready? 
Bam, where did what, you go? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> <that> one? <laughs> okay, so this is my reptile room. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I know that these are not reptiles. These are frogs. They're amphibians. So you guys are always commenting like, why do you have frogs in your reptile room? It's because I want to include them in my reptile room too because they're already here and they're such awesome frogs and I love the herbarium. So I have to include them in the reptile room tour. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Eric, you forgot your lizard. You can't just be leaving it around all over the place. Come That's on. It. He's fine. You you put him on his shoulder. Eric. He's good. Right there? Yeah. Okay. He, Stay. He's just staying there, so it's okay. All right, guys, so today's post notification shout out goes to. Oh, shoot. Come on. Eric. All right, you got to take better care of your animal, right? I found a better spot for him. <laughs> now, he, now he should be fine. Now he should be fine. Yeah. Eric, you got to take care of him, right? I got him. Don't worry. You got to patch it with that one first before okay. you can have an actual real reptile. Gotcha. Okay. He's pretty easy to maintain, so I think I can do it. <laughs> well, you keep dropping him, so you can't. <laughs> That's not good at all. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> all right, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Here, what the hell? I'll take care of him for you, Eric, all right? <laughs> I'll take care of him for you. Maybe next time. All right, so today's post notification shout out goes to. Mark Tippin. Thanks so much for turning on post notifications, Mark. If you want a post notification shout out as well, be sure you turn them on and then comment down below oh, when yeah. done so we know who has done that. Alright, thank you so much for watching and until next time, guys, peace! Alright, guys, time to check. Let's jump. Whee!